I cannot give uh, such energetic lecture like uh, the previous lecture. But thank you very much again for having me today. And uh, it's a quite great pleasure to me to give uh, this lecture and this seminar in the presence of uh, the variety of presenter, dis distinguished uh, officials, academics, and uh, many representatives of uh, delegation and international organization. And with a variety of uh, the aspect and, uh, and opinion. It's a great uh, occasion for me. Uh, today, uh, in my capacity as a practitioner of uh, development assistance, I'd like to elaborate the idea of uh, uh, human security, especially in the context of uh, development assistance and how JIC has developed and vitalized this idea in the field. Then finally, I'd like to give a brief picture of uh, JICA's activity in this country, Serbia. It might be a little bit redundant to the, with the previous presentation, but firstly, uh, I'd like to give a brief background regarding the human security. So this is a key idea for JICA since early 2000 when Mrs. Uh, Sadako Ogata, the proponent of this idea, uh, took, the pre took the office of uh, president of JICA. And there are two trends uh, which made the development agencies, in including JICA, brought more attention to this uh, key concept. The first is the rapid globalization, which deepened the interdependence of the world. The threats uh, brought by rapid globalization, including economic crisis and terrorism, transactional uh, crimes, environmental degradation, infectious disease, and many things can easily cross the borders and brought about negative impact to the people. Then secondly, the nature of conflict changes, especially after the end of the Cold War. Uh, namely, the number of uh, civil war increased, while interstate war decreased. Besides the emergence of uh, uh, failed or fragile states, put a big question mark to the legitimacy or capacity and responsibility of a state to protect people, especially. As a result, state security is no longer sufficient. Of course, it, the importance will not diminish, but needs to be complemented by the other. At this alternative, human security gets increasingly focused. In this slide, you can see how human security has been integrated in the Japanese ODA policy. ODA means Official Development Assistance. In the ODA Charter, which was formulated in August 2004, Japanese government stressed the importance of human security perspective as one of the five basic policies. Then, in the midterm policy on ODA, which was uh, formalized in February 2005, Human security was for, uh, defined as an effective approach to the uh, development assistance, and which clearly defined the idea like this. Uh, human security is defined as focusing in the individual people and building society in which everyone can live with dignity by protecting and empowering individuals and community that are exposed to actual and potential threats. In this slide, you can see the concept of human security, briefly, in terms of close relation of threats confronting people. The people are confronted, confronted with a variety of threats, both fear and want 
fears such as conflict and terrorism, which is rampant globally. Also natural disasters and environmental degradation and infectious disease, of course, including Ebola and the economic crisis and wants such as uh, those resulting from poverty, malnutrition, lack of social services, infrastructure, and the development of basic infrastructure. So given this interdependence of this situation, uh, sudden shocks and threats would place people at a great risk of down, downside risk. And human security refers to the safeguarding of the people's freedom from fear and want and ensuring that they can live in safety and dignity. In this slide, I tried to explain what the down risks, downside risks are. This slide is telling the relations between prescriptive paths and the actual path of human development. Downside risks are the risk of further deterioration. So we, we may imagine that life is upward, positively and, uh, and optimistically, but in reality, it is not true. We are surrounded by and faced with many actual and potential uh, risks, fears, and want. So without any proper actions to cope with or prevent it, the life can be negatively affected by the downside risk. Then I turn to the explanation about JICA's practice of human security. The basic idea is a complementary approach between top-down and bottom-up. Top-down means the intervention to the state level through capacity building for governmental institutions, which have primary responsibility to protect, pe protect people. While the bottom-up approach means the intervention to a community and people level through empowerment of them. So you can see our four approaches which JICA incorporate into the, our operation for human security cross-sector approach and top-down and bottom-up approach and strengthening these partnerships with a variety of actors because the capacity of a single agency is very limited. And also, I need to stress that uh, this downside risk management is also important. The big question is uh, security for whom, as everybody mentioned in this seminar. And it is very important to know who are the most vulnerable people are in order to reach out those population and to ensure the, the delivery of our service to them. The most vulnerable people include the poor, people with disabilities, indigenous population, minorities, and elderly women, children, refugees, returnees, or other immigrants, and the people living in a remote area. It is important to analyze the problem faced by those uh, vulnerable population, both in terms of uh, uh, social and cultural factors and the relations with other actors. It is quite important for us to design the project. That's why Jack spent more time for this process in the uh, complex situation. And this slide captures the summary of uh, JICA's practice for human security. And conclusions of this part. You will find that threats confronting people are closely correlated. There are some neglected people who need to be take care the importance of strengthening community capacity for risk management. 
Then finally, I'd like to move on to the, the brief picture of JICA's activity in Serbia. In addition to private sector development and uh, the environmental conservation, JICA is very active in the field of disaster risk management, healthcare, and the civil society for human security. Firstly, disaster risk management. As I mentioned, natural disaster would, be, would pose a tremendous threat to our lives. We Japanese are very frequently hit by different types of uh, natural disaster. So our government see recovery from natural disaster and its prevention as a priority area for foreign assistance. In Serbia, after the flood of May, uh, Japanese government and JICA has provided relief goods to the people, which worth 100,000 US dollar. And besides, JICA is now assessing a new, po new program for the governmental officials for building capacity for emergency management. This is a good example of the combination of bottom-up and top-down approaches. In the health care sector, JIC has donated mammography to 39 health institutions for medical equipment for breast, breast cancer screening and prevention in some years ago. And now planning to start a new technical cooperation for improvement of national cancer control program in collaboration with the Ministry of Health of Serbia. And Regarding civil society, it is needed, needless to emphasize that support for socially vulnerable people is a definitely one of the most needed areas for development. And JIC has been extending a grassroots technical cooperation in collaboration with a Japanese NGO for a psychosocial project for children at the collective center. And besides, JIC is now deploying a senior and experienced volunteer to a Serbian NGO, which is Nasha Kusha, for supporting uh, children with difficulties. And thank you, this is the end of my presentation. And again, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude to everyone, especially University of uh, Belgrade, Faculty of S uh, Security Studies, who organized this uh, meaningful event and giving me the opportunity to present my uh, effort for operationalizing human security in the field. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.